So, last class we have discussed the methods for solution. First method, different methods are there. First method is iterative method. So, you have a given the what is called algebraic Riccati equation. That algebraic Riccati equation will, will arise in case of infinite time regulator problems. Agree? So, this is the algebraic Riccati equation. So, this term and this term we club together. Again, P into A, this one, P into B R inverse B transpose P, there is a another one additional term is given, give, uh, added with a negative sign. So, with positive sign we have used here P B R inverse B transpose P. So, this and this cancel. So, this will remain same as the previous equation. So, this we have written it like this way. Now, we, we have introduced some p, we have introduced p of suffix k means value of the p matrix at kth iteration and outside this bracket is this one p k plus 1, value of p at k plus 1 at iteration. Knowing the value of p at kth iteration, we can compute the value of p at k plus 1 at iteration. So, we have written into like this way. So, in order to solve this equation, it is a something like Lyapunov type equation that we come across in the solution of stability analysis of a autonomous systems. Means, suppose you have a x dot is equal to a x and we want to study the stability of the system based on Lyapunov function, then we consider a energy function V in quadratic form x transpose p x. Then we this energy function is a positive definite function, positive semi definite function and we have to show for the system A to be stable provided V dot means rate of change of energy should decrease with time that we have to show it and that condition is that that one A transpose p plus p A is equal to minus q. So, this is called a Lyapunov type equation while we will study the stability of a autonomous systems. How to solve this one? That you assign the what is called Q is a positive definite matrix. Then solve A transpose P, P A, agree? For P, you solve it. If P is a positive definite matrix, it indicates A matrix is a stable one based on the derivative of the Lyapunov function. We arrive this condition. So, here also we initial value let us call k is equal to 0. So, p of 0 you choose in such a way so that a minus b r inverse b transpose p it is nothing but a b k. If you recollect k is r inverse b transpose p. So, it is b k and you have to, I told you you have to select p of 0 k is equal to 0 in such a way this matrix is stable. So, it is A transpose A C transpose or whole matrix I can write A k is nothing but a closed loop system matrix at kth iteration. So, it is A k transpose P k plus P k plus 1 A k this is A k is equal to Q P k P B R inverse B transpose then P k. So, I know P of 0 I have assigned initially in such a way, so that A minus B R inverse B transpose P k is 0, uh, sorry stable. So, since this is a positive definite matrix, Q is a positive semi definite matrix, result will be positive definite matrix. And if the result on is this positive definite matrix, we know that A minus B R inverse B transpose P k is the stable one. So, if you solve this one, then we will get P k plus 1 matrix k plus 1 at iteration the p value will be positive definite. And next is once I know from the knowledge of p 0 if I can compute p 1 then use the p 1 in this expression a minus b r inverse b transpose p, p is p 1 now you find out p of 2 by solving the Lyapunov equation. And in this process you go on solving recursively until and unless the p converges to a some constant value. So, next is remarks we can just write it. The initial choice of P 
if you recollect that what I told you the initial choice of P 0 should be such that that A of 0 is equal to A minus B R inverse B transpose P of 0 is stable. Okay. So, at any iteration any kth iteration I can write A of k is you know, 0 iteration A 0, kth iteration A k is equal to A minus B R inverse B transpose P k and k is equal to 1, 2, 3 dot dot in iteration R. So, <coughs> is stable initial choice is such that it is stable. <coughs> subsequently, you can write it that subsequently it can be shown, it can be shown that all matrices this for k is equal to 1 to 3 a k are stable. And next observation we can see it rather p k plus 1 is less than equal to p k. That means, this p k minus in other words you can say p k plus minus p of k this matrix is less than equal to 0 means this is a negative definite matrix. That means, in other words I can say the p k plus 1 is less positive definite than the p k. Okay. Then I can write third one is limit k tends to infinity the iteration if you go on increasing in the like this way recursively if you solve it the Lyapunov equation then you will see p of k will equal to p which is a constant it converts to a constant matrix. So, only <coughs> things is when you will start the iteration you have to select p of 0 in such a way a of 0 is stable and then start recursively solving this one until unless that p k plus 1 and p minus p of k is less than equal to norm of this one is less than equal to some p specified values agree small values are there or when p converts to a some constant value. So, this is the this method we, in this way we can solve the Riccati equation algebraic Riccati equation that is called iterative method, but one, one disadvantage of this method is that if your initial guess is not appropriate then it will take longer time to converge the solution of the Riccati equation p to a constant value this is the one of the disadvantage of this method. So, next method is is the eigen value eigen vector method that means based on the concept of eigen value and eigen vector one can find out the solution of solution of algebraic Riccati equations. Agree? So, method 2 method 2 is based on the eigen value and eigen vector method. That means, solution of the algebraic Riccati equation based on eigen value eigen vector method of the Hamiltonian matrix. So, first step step 1. So, first you all the when you are uh, designing a LQR problem first check first check it is there you have to see whether the system is controllable or not. So, the controllability test we have already mentioned it here. So, just mention first check the controllability of the of the system. Agree? That means, if you rank of b a b dot dot a n minus 1 b must be equal to n, n is the number of states or the order of the systems and b is the input matrix, a is the system matrix, 
the rank of this matrix must be n. If it is a n, then we will call system is completely controllable. Means all the states will be able to from initial state we will we will be able to drive the state at desired state with a finite control actions agree? in a finite time. So, this is the thing. If this fails, then this program will show the error message. That means, we will not be able to design the LQR problems. If the system is not controllable, return with an error message. The error, this message will be there that we will not be able to design a LQR controller for these systems. Step 2. So, from the Hamiltonian matrix, matrix <coughs> and to form the Hamiltonian matrix, if you recollect, we need the information A matrix, B matrix, Q matrix and R matrix. So, A minus B R inverse B transpose then Q minus A transpose and this is the Hamiltonian matrix and this Hamiltonian with how we have formed it, if you recollect that x dot of t and lambda dot of t, this is the co-state vector, it is the base um, state vector, this equal to h m into x of t lambda of t. So, this is the aug augmented state vector with state vector and the co-state vector and each dimension, this dimension is 2 n cross 1 this dimension is 2 n cross 1, 2 n cross 1 if you see this one. Now, <coughs> this we form the Hamiltonian matrix, this Hamiltonian matrix dimension 2 n cross 2 n. So, this is the n. So, this, this matrix have a, uh, how many eigenvalues are there? There are 2 n eigenvalues are there. We have shown it analytically that this matrix having a, a set of eigenvalues that means, n eigenvalues are in the left half of the s plane and or you can say n eigenvalues are with negative real parts and remaining n eigenvalues are the, the right half with a positive sign, with a positive sign eigenvalues with a real positive sign. That means, n eigenvalues are stable eigenvalues and n eigenvalues are unstable eigenvalues and they are symmetric about the imaginary axis. <coughs> so, this are the Hamiltonian matrix and all its eigenvalues are, let us call, we have defined the eigenvalues are mu 1, mu 2, mu 3, dot dot mu n and another set of eigenvalues will be minus mu 1 minus mu 2 dot dot mu n minus this one. We told we have seen it that Hamiltonian matrix there are two sets of eigenvalues they are symmetric about the imaginary axis of the complex plane. So, that is let us call this set of eigenvalues are the stable, stable eigenvalues, stable eigenvalues of H m Hamiltonian matrix and these are the since this is if this is the stable since it is a preceded with minus that will be unstable because this stable means the eigen values the real term real term with a negative sign if it is a stable one a negative sign and there is an preceded with negative means positive sign so the eigen values real term real values of the uh, these eigen values are with a positive sign that means unstable Eigen values of H m Hamiltonian matrix. So, <coughs> so this uh, positive real parts, this is the negative real parts, positive real parts of eigenvalues, real parts 
of eigenvalues negative real parts one, then this will be positive real parts of eigen values of n, this is n eigen values are there. So, this we have just defined this, this one, then <coughs> if you that we will just see this one that eigen values are symmetric about the imaginary axis or the symmetry about the imaginary axis. To show this one, we have already dis discussed this one earlier. At this stage, we just briefly discuss how we are making comments like this way. Their are eigen values of Hamiltonian matrix are symmetric about the real ex, uh, imaginary axis. So, do the similarity transformation, similarity transformations. So, let us call x of t lambda of t this co state vector augmented vector of this one, we have used the transformation like this way. So, <coughs> let us call this is the equ equation number, we have just this, this, this equation let us call equ equation number 1. Okay, this is the equation number 1. From equation 1 or you can say equation 1 can be rewritten, equation 1 can be rewritten as rewritten as that x dot. So, it is a i, this is a constant matrix p i then your x bar dot of t agree then lambda bar of t lambda bar is x dot lambda dot is equal to this into x dot x bar dot lambda bar dot this equal to we are writing we have a Hamiltonian matrix H m then we are writing for this one i then 0 p i this into h bar of t lambda bar of t agree. <coughs> so, this we can write it for this one that what is h m we know the h m expression then we can write it left hand side lambda bar of t is equal to lambda uh, x bar of t augmented with a lambda bar of t this equal to i 0 p i whole inverse. Then our Hamiltonian matrix, if you write the expression for Hamiltonian matrix, this is nothing but a b r inverse b transpose that is minus q minus a transpose multiplied by then your i just I have simplified that one. x bar top lambda bar of t. So, uh, if you use the matrix inversion lemma of this one as we discussed earlier and if you do it after simplification, we will get the final results is like this way a minus b r inverse b transpose p and this is nothing but our k if you see this equal to minus b r inverse b transpose that equal to that side is equal to a transpose p plus p a minus p b r inverse b transpose p plus q and that will get minus of that matrix a minus b r inverse b transpose p this equal to x bar t lambda bar of t. So, if you just multiply from here to here, you will get this matrix. So, now see this one, this is the algebraic Riccati equation, this quantity is equal to 0 for this one okay? and <coughs> this one is 0. So, it is nothing, nothing but an upper triangular structure, 
upper transversal error and this is nothing but a closed loop system matrix and the closed loop system matrix is stable it is enough if you consider that q is a positive semi definite and r is a positive definite matrix then this is a stable one if it is a stable one and this is preceded with a minus sign so this will be a unstable this matrix eigen values are unstable so this matrix whose dimension is n cross n this dimension n rows this is n columns similarly this is is n columns and this is the n rows so n eigen values of this is stable and this block eigen values are unstable so whole system eigen values after transformation we know the eigen values does not change it only eigen vector with similarity transformation eigen vector will change so uh, since it is a block diagonal matrix the eigen values of the whole matrix is nothing but eigen values of this block which is the stable eigen values and eigen values of this block which is the unstable eigen values because of that minus sign is preceded with that matrix okay so that we have shown it earlier also here also now <coughs> see that uh, this is the second step if you just see the uh, first step is you will check it the controllability test if the system is controllable then go to the second step in second step you just form hamiltonian matrix and other things what we have discussed just to show the hamiltonian matrix eigen values there are uh, two n eigen values are there n eigen values are lying to the left up of the spin in the sense the l n eigen values with a negative real parts and remaining n eigen values are positive real parts they are symmetric about the imaginary axis so once you find out this hm matrix then find out the step 3 step 3 the find out the eigen vectors of the hamiltonian matrix find the eigen vectors of the hamiltonian matrix corresponding to the stable eigen values i repeat i once again find out the eigen values of the hamiltonian matrix whose dimension is 2 n cross 2 n you find out the eigen vector corresponding to the stable eigen values of hm that is our next step so step a let that vi ui whose dimension is vi dimension is n row one column this is the one column this is the n row that means this dimension is twice n into 1 let eto is the eigen vector or generalized eigen vector of the matrix H m corresponding to negative real parts corresponding to or in other words corresponding to mu y and what is mu y? The stable eigen values. What is stable eigen values? The eigen values with negative real parts, eigen values with negative real parts means this is the corresponds to stable eigen values, eigen value of H m that is. So, you find out the uh, eigen vector of that one corresponding to mu i. So, if you find out this mu 1 and you we can find out we know the hour for i is equal to 1 2 dot dot n. You see this one i, i how many stable eigen values are there? We have a n stable eigen values are there. N unstable eigen values are there we are we are concentrated or we are, we are our attention to find out the eigen vector corresponding to n stable eigen values of hm so for i is equal to 1 to n so the solution of the proof we will give it later the solution of algebraic ricati equation then one can find out that means this solution a transpose p a minus p b r inverse b transpose p plus q is equal to 0 the solution of this one is obtained as 
p is equal to that you form a u 1, u 2 dot dot u n, then this matrix b 1, b 2 dot dot v n whole inverse. Now, see this one. Uh, which one that two four. Now, see this one huh, here, this is the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value mu i, which is stable eigen values. And when you are getting the first n rows of this column vector, you partition as a v i, remaining n per n uh, rows of this vector you partition as a v i. So, since we have a what is called n stable eigen values, the first partition and first n rows I am writing v 1, v 2, v 3 dot dot v n and remaining last n rows of the eigen vector corresponding to stable eigen values I am writing u 1, u 2, u 3 dot dot u n. So, the solution of the Riccati equation of this one. So, this is the stable eigen vectors of H m corresponding to u 1 corresponding to mu 1. Okay? Last n rows of this eigen vectors is u 1. The last n rows of the eigen vector corresponding to mu is equal to mu 2 is the u 2 and so on. And this is the first n rows of the eigen vector corresponding to stable eigen values mu 1. This is stable eigen values mu 2, first n rows of the eigen vector, eigen vector in this way. So, if you compute this, that will give you the solution of the Riccati equation. So, this dimension, if you see how many rows are there, n rows, this is column 1, column 1 in this way, we have a n columns are there. So, this dimension is, if you see this, I mean n cross n, this dimension is n cross n and this inversion is exists because eigen vectors of that one comprises that one v 1 v 1 all these things. So, <coughs> let us see the proof of this one. So, these are the eigen vectors what you can write it for this one if you see that one this uh, what is called this is the closed loop system eigen values uh, closed loop system matrix a minus b a minus b r inverse b transpose p is the closed loop system matrix. So, this way you can solve it this one. So, let us prove that how we are getting this expression. So, proof So, algebraic Riccati equation we rewrite here algebraic Riccati equation a transpose p plus p a minus p b r inverse b transpose p plus q is equal to 0. Let us call this is equation number 1. This, this equation we are writing into different form. Look mu i is the eigen values of the matrix Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to a stable eigen values mu i. This is I have added with a, a transpose multiplied by p a transpose, but this is more one term is added that is subtracted like this way mu i i agree then a minus plus b r inverse b transpose p plus q let us call this is equation number 2. Now, see mu i mu mu i p minus p mu i agree that <coughs> if you multiply it by this one mu is a scalar quantity agree. So, this and this cancel. So, a transpose p minus and that is a minus plus p a that minus this plus minus p b p p b r inverse b transpose p plus q. So, it is same as equation number 1. So, now next is <coughs> The eigen values, let us square now. If the eigen values 
of a minus b r inverse b transpose p r mu 1 mu 2 dot dot mu n and that corresponds to stable eigen values. If the eigen values of this matrix are mu 1 mu 2 do this agree okay, stable eigen values, then we can write by definition of eigen value and eigen vector the definition a b r inverse b transpose p this into that vector that vector is v i. Let us call corresponding to this vector this is the eigen values corresponding to these vectors are v i v y i is equal to 1 to n, then v 1, v 2 is the eigen vectors corresponding to this matrix. So, this plus is equal to that mu i into v i. This is the definition of eigen values eigen vector. This is the matrix and closed loop system matrix that eigen values are mu 1, mu 2, which are the stable eigen values we are considered. So, by definition of eigen values eigen vector, I can write it closed loop system matrix into corresponding eigen vector if it is v i must be equal to mu i into v i. So, this I can write it after bring it in this side b r inverse b transpose p this minus you bring it mu i i whole v i is equal to 0. So, push it p v i in the inside. So, it will be v i minus p v r inverse v transpose p v i okay. minus mu i mu i v i. So, if I take it right hand side it will be mu i v i. So, this is nothing but a a v i minus p b r inverse b transpose let us call this matrix, this is will be matrix multiplied by a vector. So, it will be a vector which I am denoted by e y is equal to mu i v i. So, let us call this equation e is equation number 3 and this is valid for n number of equations. Okay. So, this is the one equation 3 you get it. Now, if you multiply it by this equation 2, by v i post multiplied by v i both sides, then what we will get it? This equal to that is this equal to 0 null matrix. From equation 1, you see we have adjusted this equal to right hand side null matrix. So, here I missed it, it is a null matrix here. So, I multiplied by equation 2, equation 2 multiplied by v i then what we get it? Let us say mu i i plus a transpose p v i minus p that is v i c equation 2 v i that means i then minus a plus v r inverse b transpose p multiplied by v i plus q v i is equal to null matrix. Now, look at this expression, this expression you see, <coughs> uh, this expression, what you can write it a v i, if you multiply by a v i, you see this one, a v i v r inverse v transpose u i minus mu i v i is equal to 0, if you take this one this side it will be 0. So, if you see is here then a v i r inverse v i p v i then mu i, but it is a minus with this one. So, this quantity is 0, this quantity is 0. So, I can write it now mu i i plus a transpose p v i agree then I, I am taking the minus sign common, it will be plus plus a minus b r inverse v transpose p v i 
agree minus this is the minus sign if I take it common this is plus. So, it will be a minus mu i v i plus q v i is equal to 0. So, this quantity from equation 0 from 3. So, we got it this, this one this is nothing but a u i. So, we got it mu i plus a transpose u i plus q v i is equal to 0 and i is equal to 1 2 dot dot n. So, let us call this is equation number 4. Now, you just write from equation 3 and 4 from 3 and this from equation 4 we can write from 3 and 4. Note v i is the what? If you recollect v i is the Eigen vector of the matrix closed loop system matrix corresponding to a Eigen value mu i corresponding to Eigen value mu i this is the Eigen vector and mu i is the what is mu i? Mu i is nothing but a the stable Eigen values stable Eigen values of Hamiltonian matrix that is. So, from 3 and 4 we can write it a minus b r inverse b transpose minus q minus a transpose this is the Hamiltonian matrix and this equal to v i u i then is equal to mu i and v i u i and that is for i is equal to 1 to dot dot n. So, let us call equation number 5 and these are the what? This is if you see this is the Eigen vector this dimension is what? If you see this dimension is this matrix dimension 2 cross 2 n and this dimension is 1 cross twice n this is the twice n. So, one row one column twice n. So, these are the Eigen vectors corresponding to Hamiltonian matrix okay? this is the Hamiltonian matrix. that what I told you earlier also you find out the Eigen vectors of the Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to the stable Eigen values of H m means Hamiltonian matrix and then you can find out the what is called um, solution of algebraic DKT equation this and this is you can write it Eigen vector Eigen vector Eigen vector of H m corresponding to by definition of Eigen values Eigen vector you see A x is equal to lambda into x the Eigen vector corresponding mean to mu i which is a stable Eigen value Eigen value of H m this is. <coughs> Or, or you can say stable Eigen values of A minus B R inverse B transpose P. This is the stable Eigen values of this is the stable Eigen values of of this matrix also. Agree? Okay? This matrix also. So <coughs> now this I can write it now from. So we know we know or we have defined. You see P V is equal to u i and i is equal to 1 to dot dot n. So, I can write it p v 1 v 2 dot dot v n is equal to u 1 u 2 dot dot u n. Argumenting the i is equal to 1 to n this matrices are these vectors are argumented like this way. So, this is nothing but a this dimension is n cross n because this this is the row is n rows this is the column 1 this is the column 1. So, we have a this this is also n cross n. So, therefore, p is equal to u 1 u 2 dot dot u n divided by I mean that was inverse of post multiplied by this one v 1 
b 2 dot dot v n whole inverse. Mind it that v 1, v 2, v 2 is the eigen vectors of the matrix, eigen vectors of the matrix A, B, R inverse, B transpose P, closed loop system eigen values, eigen vectors of this one. These are the eigen vector, eigen vector of this matrix, eigen vector of this matrix corresponding to the eigen values mu i, corresponding to eigen value mu i. Since these vectors are, it can be proved that V 1, V 2, V 3 dot dot V n is the set of eigen vectors corresponding to the set of eigen values mu 1, mu 2 dot dot mu n, that is the n eigen values are there, they are linearly independent. So, the inversion exists for this one, agree. So, this way you can one can get the solution of this one. So, if you summarize this one, then what is the step to solve the algebraic equation? First you check, first step is you check whether the system is controllable or not. If the system is controllable, then proceed second step. If it is not a controllable, send a message that this we cannot design a controller based on LQR. That means, solution of Likert equation is does not exist or we are not be able to stabilize the systems. Second step is here that you form a Hamiltonian matrix and once you form a Hamiltonian matrix, then you find out, you can immediately find out, because you know a Hamiltonian matrix is known to you completely, because you know A, you know B, you know Q and you know R. So, Hamiltonian matrix is known to you completely. Then you find out the eigenvalues of this matrix and consider only the stable eigenvalues of the Hamiltonian matrix and find out the corresponding eigenvector of the Hamiltonian matrix, agree, corresponding eigenvector of the Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to the stable eigenvalues agree? and once you got the eigenvectors of the Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to the stable eigenvalues mu 1, mu 2 dot dot mu n, then first n rows of this vector you picked up that is we denoted by v i and remaining n rows or last n rows you denoted by u i. Then you form a matrix like this way, take the inverse then this will be the solution of the Riccati equation that is the proof of that one. But this, <coughs> this is the our method what we have considered this is the Eigen value and Eigen vector method. This method is numerically is not much sound in the sense when you are finding out the Eigen values, Eigen values or Eigen vectors and when the Eigen values are the repeated Eigen values then we have to look for what is called generalized Eigen vectors and competition of generalized Eigen vector may create what is called numerically some problems can be not real, it is not reliable much to when we will compute the Eigen vectors by this method or any method. So, the next method is numerically stable methods, method 3 is the numerically more stable method while we will competing the Eigen vectors of the Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to stable Eigen values of H m means Hamiltonian matrix. So, this method is called Sure, Sure method to solve ARE algebraic Riccati equation and this Sure method is based on Q R decomposition method, decomposition method agree? and that is numerically that Q R decomposition method is numerically stable or more reliable when you will compute the Eigen values of the Eigen vectors of this matrix when the Eigen values having a repeated Eigen values are there. So, one can see the reference of this one, it is a good paper, you can see a sure method for solving algebraic Riccati equation that is that appeared in IEEE transaction AC 
volume 24, volume 24, number 6, June issue and 1971, 79, even though it is a very old paper, but it is a basic things is given here only and page 119 to 92, 91. Author is Ellen J. Lamb. So, we will just briefly discuss the solution of this Riccati equation, algebraic Riccati equation based on what is called the Schur complement, my Schur method. So, step algorithmistic steps. So, step 1, but in this method, what we will do is, we will just find out the Eigen vectors of the matrix H m corresponding to stable Eigen values mu 1, mu 2, dot dot mu 1, that is the method only. Once you know the Eigen vectors of this one, uh, we know how to find out the solution of the Riccati equation P, means that means, first n rows we picked up and we will form V 1, V 2, V 3, V n and this is nothing but a the Eigen value, Eigen vector corresponding to closed loop system Eigen values okay? and the remaining n Eigen values that of this uh, Hamilton matrix Eigen vectors that Eigen vectors such that 2 n cross 1 Eigen uh, dimension. The first n rows is denoted by V 1 and the remaining n rows that means, last n rows is denoted by U 1. So, from that information we can find out the solution of P and in this method, Schur method is giving the competition of Eigen vector corresponding to Eigen vectors of H m corresponding to Eigen values, stable Eigen values mu 1, mu 2, mu dot mu n. So, first step is from Hamiltonian matrix H m is equal to A B R inverse B transpose minus Q minus A transpose. This this is the equation number one, whose dimension is n cross twice n into twice n. This step two with the help of with the help of Q R algorithm. the matrix H m is transformed into upper sure form. What is the upper sure form? First strike structure is the S is equal to W transpose H m of W and W is a orthogonal matrix, orthogonal matrix. An orthogonal matrix means, if we trade, if we inverse of this matrix is nothing but a transpose of that same matrix. This is orthogonal matrix and orthogonal W W transpose is equal to identity matrix, that is the properties of orthogonal matrix. So, this is the orthogonal matrix and the structure of a, if you look the, this expression, this dimension is h n dimension twice n cross twice n and this orthogonal matrix also dimension is twice n into twice n this, because this dimension is twice n into twice n. Agree? So, the structure of S, the structure of S you will get it S 1 1, S 1 2 dot dot S 1 k, S 2 2 S 2 3 dot dot S 2 k and in this way if you just go on S k k. So, this whole matrix dimension twice cross twice n just like here this dimension of this one is also twice n into twice n this orthogonal matrix. Now, what will do it? You do the sequence of orthogonal transformation on H m such that the structure of S matrix when you have P multiplied by W transpose and W, the structure of P matrix will be this form, upper triangular structure. This will be a upper triangular structure, agree? this form. 
and look at this expression each block either S 1 1, S 2 2, S 2 3 3, 4 4, S k k 4, k k. This block will be either 1 by 1 block or 2 by 2 block. This will be S i i where S i i i is equal to 1 to dot dot k is either 1 cross 1 means scalar or 2 cross 2 matrix. Okay. This will be the this matrix, this matrix. So, this is the a sequence of orthogonal transformation we can make it on a H m matrix such that this matrix will be converted into this form either 1 by 1 block or 2 by 2 block. If the 2 by 2 block is coming in there then this Eigen values of that one S you see Eigen values one can conclude the Eigen values of A is same as the Eigen values of H m because you are doing the some similarity transformation. W transpose is nothing but a W inverse of this one, you can think of it like this way. So, eigenvalues are remain same. So, these eigenvalues are either it will be 1 1 this block or it will be 2 2 block that means, this eigenvalues will be either complex or real this if it is a 2 by 2 blocks are there. So, now <coughs> see how it, it is done it. So, this is just to get some idea that what we do it in this equation. That suppose given given A, our problem is convert into a decompose A is equal to A into Q R. Okay. So, let us call the matrix A is decomposed into Q into R, Q is a orthogonal matrix. and R is the upper triangular matrix, upper triangular, triangular matrix. Okay. Now, this is A is equal to this, this is the a matrix can be decomposed into this Q into R form. This can be done by using a sequence of orthogonal transformation or in other words you one can do a sequence of Householder transformation which will decompose a matrix into this Q into R. Let us call we know how we assume that this technique we know how to decompose a matrix Q into R. So, if it is so, then how will you get in sure form into this form? A is equal to I am writing is the given matrix A is written assigned with a 0, which is equal to our Q 0 R 0. Now, I have divided A 1. If you reverse the order of this one, because both are a dimension if it is a n cross n, this each each is n cross n, this is also n cross n. So, if you reverse this order, the dimension this matrix will be different from a 0 or a. So, this matrix I am now considering is a 1 is a r 0 q 0. So, what is r 0? If you from here, you take the inverse of both side. So, it will be a q 0 inverse means transpose because q is a orthogonal matrix, q 0 is orthogonal matrix. So, this will be this one into a 0 into q 0. Okay. So, what is r, r 1? r 1 is nothing but a r 0 q 0 and whatever the decomposition we do it q 0 r 0 reverse order you write it r 0 q 0 is a 1. Similarly, I can write it now A 2, A 2 that that A 1 is just like if you decompose this matrix, if you decompose into a Q 1 R 1, I decompose in carbon, write the reverse order which is denoted by A 2 is equal to R 1 Q 1. So, what is our <coughs> R 1? R 1 is nothing but a q 1 transpose a 1, r 1 is nothing but a q 1 transpose a 1 into you see r 1 is nothing but a q 1 from here I r 1 value I am writing, r 1 value I am writing q transpose a 1 multiplied by q 1. Okay. 
So, what is A 1? Just now you got it A 1 is this one. So, it is a q 1 transpose q 0 transpose A 0 q 0 q 0 q 1. Okay. So, if I write it like this way, then I can write it is nothing but A 2 is equal to q 1 transpose q 0 transpose A 0 q 0 q 1 this. So, which is I can write it if you say q 0 q 1 whole transpose A 0 q 0 q 1. Okay. So, next is what I will write it? I will write it A 2 A 3 is equal to because this I can this matrix A 2 matrix I can decompose A 2 is what? I am written it into R 1 into Q 1. So, I can decompose this A 2 is equal to Q 2 R 2. Agree? Q 2 R 2 I can I decompose this matrix and how will you write it? This simply in this way that Q 2 is this and, and what you can write it for, for this one? After simplification in this way, then I am writing A 3. A 3 is Q 2, A 3 what will can write it? A 3, similarly I can write finally, Q 0, Q 1, Q 2 whole transpose A 0, Q 0, Q 1, Q 2 and ultimately if you see, if you do the kth iteration A k, what you can write it A k? That Q 0, Q 1, Q 2 dot dot Q minus 1 whole transpose A 0, Q 0, Q 1, Q k minus 1 in this. Agree? So, ultimately it is nothing but a Q transpose A 0 and Q. The two orthogonal matrix multiplication results is orthogonal matrix. Agree? So, it is something like this way. If you do this um, sequence like this way, ultimately I will get A is in the sure form. Into sure form means into this form, just like huh, into this form, into this structure. This is all R 0 That means, either a 1 S 1 1 may be 2, 2 by 2 block or 1 by 1 block. This may be 1 by 1 block or 2 by 2 block, but it cannot be more than 2 by 2 block. It is may 1 by 1 block or 2 by 2 block. So, ultimately if you proceed like this way, you will get it a k into sure form. So, I just leave it this is an exercise, please do it a to this one. <coughs> okay this you just proceeded that one. And next class, I will just complete the algorithm, how to solve that um, algebraic Riccati equation using the sure complement, is sure form. And sure form is nothing but a numerically, you are finding out the Eigen vectors of a, of Hamiltonian matrix corresponding to a stable Eigen values, that is all only. Okay. So, we will stop it here.